Hello, this is Hiba Hamad and Namisa Bufool and welcome to Prof Shadi's YouTube channel. Today we're going to teach you how to write a research in APA style, but first I'll tell you what APA style is. APA stands for American Psychological Association and it, uh, it originated in 1929 when a group of psychologists, anthropologists and business managers convened and sought to establish a simple set of procedures or style rules. Uh, this meant that they would all write in the same way, the same style, uh, so that it would make it easier for reading comprehension in the future and for others to understand their researches. Uh, APA is based on a selection of headings, tones, and uh, lengths, punctuation, abbreviation, presentation of numbers and statistics, construction of tables and figures, citations of references, and many other elements that are also a part of this manuscript. Okay, so before you start everything, you need to keep in mind that uh, APA means that the style is always the same. So based on APA 6th edition, font is always Times New Roman, size 12, regular, regular style, and black color, which is the default usually. And the layout is double spaced, nine spacings, double spaced, and and you can set it as default if you always write uh, APA and you can do it for this document only if you don't so now moving on to the header must be a different first page and then the header must be running head prof shadi sample all in uppercase this is the, the title of your research and then the number of the page should be in the current position, which is to the upper right. And this is only for your cover page. And you move on to the middle of the page, alignment center. And you start with the research name, Prof. Shadi Sample. Uh, the only uppercase letters should be the first of each word, but prepositions shouldn't be uppercase. And then uh, your first name and your last name. Uh, also, only the first letter should be uppercase. And then your the name of your institution, university, school, whatever. So Sharjah American International School, which is the school we go to. All right. So moving on to the body of your research, the first page should be the abstract. Keep in mind that you have to change the header and you remove the running head. We'll tell you what to include in the abstract in the next video. Uh, it should be 250 words approximately. And then the page after that should start with the introduction. But you don't write introduction, you start with the name of the research, which is Prof. Shadi Sample. And then you indent. And you start typing. Uh, and that's it. In the last page, you have to make sure that you have a conclusion and you have, need to have a reference page and you're ready to go. Hello, this is Hiba Hamad and Lamisa Bufool and welcome back to Prof Shari's channel. This is part two of how to write an experimental report uh, in APA style. So when you're done formatting your research, which is part one, um, you could go back and watch that and then start here. When you're done with your research's layout, like the uh, header and the font and the spacing, you should start with the actual research body. So the first page should be the cover page. Page two should be an abstract and you should start it by writing uh, abstract. Uh, also in Times New Roman font 12, no bold, no it, uh, italic or anything. And then the paragraph should start from the left directly, uh, it shouldn't be indented. So uh, this abstract should be from 150 to 250 words. It should be a concise summary of the key points in the research. So when someone wants to read your research, they read the abstract first. And based on that, they decide whether they want to continue reading or not. So here you should include um, at least your research topic, your view of the research, uh, your research questions, your participants, your methods, results, data analysis, and your conclusion that uh, you reached. So it's it could also include implications of the research and future work that you see yourself writing about. And also uh, it should be a single paragraph such as this. 
Now, this is a sample research that we, uh, we wrote before for an English assignment, but it is an experimental report, so uh, we can use it for a sample here. Make sure that whenever you write anything in APA, that uh, you cite it. So here you cite a, like this, according to the California Me Biomedical Research Association, which was in 2011, the article was published in 2011, and then you refer to this in text citation in your reference page, which is the last page of your research. It's over here. California Biomedical Research Association. So it's the first one. We'll talk about the reference page in the end, but I'm just showing you that you should reference all your um, ideas. Even if they weren't uh, copied, they were paraphrased, they're still not your ideas. So in order for your work to be credible, you need to reference everything and cite everything. Now after you're done with the abstract, you should move on to the actual body of your research. So here it's Prof Shadi sample. And then you start with the introduction. Now the introduction should include, uh, just like a normal in introduction for any essay, it should include a thesis statement, a claim, the purpose, um, and anything else you want to include. Usually in this introduction you don't need to have any citations because it's usually all your ideas. Um, there shouldn't be any scientific uh, references here. And then you move on to your methods and your results and discussions part of the research. The methods should include participants and apparatus and materials and a procedure. Okay, so in this research we were asked to see if animal testing is, an, is a need in the uh, scientific field or in scientific experimentations. And in this research, um, we came to a conclusion that yes, it's important, and that's why we have uh, two surveys that show the importance of animal testing. Now to start with, uh, you should have a participant's heading. The first level of the heading is this, methods. It should be uh, centered, it should be bold, and it should be um, uppercased uh, and lowercase. So if you have methods and something, it should be something you know it should be uppercase but here it's just methods and then you continue with uh, the second level of the heading which is participants participants should be left aligned should be bold and should be uh, uppercase and lowercase just like methods and something so participants and something would be like this apparatus and materials uppercase uppercase and uh, a connector okay Participants should uh, discuss who enrolled in the experiment. So the major um, types of people who joined the experiment. Uh, if race is a factor, then you should provide a breakdown of the race. And um, the accepted term to refer to someone who participated in the research is uh, participant, not subject or not person, it's participant. So here it's mentioned that participants included but are not limited to scientists and civilians from both genders, different social groups, and ages above 15 years old. So here it's very general, but in case it, it wasn't, was more specific, then you should include all of that. Okay, you should also include the number of people who joined and the, uh, the date or the, um, the name of the publisher. So this is also a citation. Then in apparatus and materials, you should include uh, the type of equipment that you use. So apparatus is any type of equipment used du during the data collection. So in this case, it was a an online survey. So it's mentioned that um, they were used. So it should be mentioned that they use computers and uh, other materials. Materials include scripts, surveys, or softwares used for data collection. Um, it's sometimes necessary to provide specific examples of materials uh, depending on the nature of the study. So here it says that they are credible and they are surveys and the name of the conductor of the survey. Then in procedure it includes a step-by-step -step of how the uh, survey was conducted or how the experiment was uh, conducted. It should include a description of the experimental design it should include an identification of the independent variable and the independent variable and the control. And uh, they should have clear, meaningful names so that the readers uh, are not confused with your research. 
should also include important instructions to participants and a step-by-step -step listing in chronological order of what the participants did during the experiment. So first they were asked for this and this and this and then they did this and that, depending on your research of course. And uh, again, always remember to cite everything. So here there's a citation, citation, citation. And in order to make things easier regarding citations, you should go visit www.citationmachine.net and um, select APA format and then uh, cite whatever you want. Now the results and discussions parts of this research should include um, the results of your research narrated for readers in plain English and accompanied by statistics that are credible. And the discussions part is uh, where you talk about your results, mean, and where you wrap the overall story you are telling. So the average results of your research. First you start with findings, which is in the second level of the headings. This is the first level, and this is the second level. The second level should be left aligned, bold, uppercase. The third level should be indented, bold, uh, lowercase, and has a period in the end, and then the text starts after that. And in the case that your research requires a fourth and a fifth level, the fourth level should be indented, bold, italicized, lowercase, and has a period in the end, while the fifth level should be indented, italicized, lowercase, not bold, and has a period in the end. And the text always starts right after the period, don't leave a line for that. Um, okay, so findings should include, um, as we said, uh, your results. So here it says that the both surveys came to similar conclusions and then both conclusions were uh, explained so for each survey there was third level of headings okay um, it's very specific so there was uh, percentages uh, averages quotations uh, and most importantly citations to make sure that everything uh, mentioned is credible and could be used in scientific research for other people in the future Okay, there was also unexpected results and they're explained in the research. And after the findings and the results section is done, there's the conclusion section. So the conclusion is a restatement of the thesis um, and a rephrase of the uh, introduction. A conclusion wraps up what you've been discussing in your paper. After moving from general to specific information, as we mentioned before in the introduction and in the body paragraphs, your conclusion should pull back into more general information that, in, that um, restate the main points of the argument and also rephrase the thesis statement. Conclusions can also call for action or overview for future possible research. So in a general way, you should start by restating your topic and why it's important, such as here. This is uh, why it's important. Uh, and these are some examples. And then it should also restate your theses or your claim. It should also address opposing viewpoints and explain why the readers should align with your claim and why they should conduct more research about your topic. Then you could also mention other research topics that could result from, from your topic. Okay, uh, so the conclusion uh, should continue with the last part of your body, so they could be on the same page. You don't have a separate page for the conclusion. Um, the word conclusion should be aligned in the middle and it should be bold and uppercased. And finally, the reference page is a page to um, refer to all your in-text citations. In the reference page, you start with references, um, not bold, not italicized, but uppercased references. Uh, middle aligned and then you move on to your um, references and your citations uh, all in APA style as we said before uh, refer to www.citationmachine.net uh, select APA and then select whatever you want to cite and it will help you a lot you could also in-text citation from that website uh, and most importantly in the reference page it should be all uh, al in alphabetical order so you do it from here paragraphs, ascending, text, okay, and it should also be hanging, so paragraph, indentation, special, hanging, by 0 0.5 inches, and then, okay, and this is how it will be. Okay, so that's all for how to write an experimental research in APA style. 
We hope that you enjoyed this video and we hope that you refer to other videos on Prof Shadi's channel. Mr. Shady, <laughs> <laughs> since this is going to be our very last assignment for you, we'd like to thank you very much on behalf thank of you, all of Shady. us. And we're going to miss you the most. And yeah, that's it. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>